What's up math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W and today we're going to tackle question 41 in the Math 1 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question gives us a function with some kind of crazy looking decimal numbers and asks us to find the value of g of 30. Now the big skill that this is testing us on is how to evaluate functions. So let's go ahead and do that because the idea of evaluating a function is that we take some number, like if it says g of 30, 30 is in place of x, so when I rewrite this function to evaluate it, I'm going to replace everywhere I see an x with the number that I'm evaluating for, so 30. Now that I have plugged in the number 30, and I'm going to go ahead and evaluate this, the next big thing to remember is order of operations, because I need to multiply these first before I can just add. So that's 1 and 74 hundredths times 30 plus 19.6. And my final answer is 71 and 8 hundredths. But this is a gridded response question, so I'm going to need to actually show you how to fill in the gridded response part of this. So here's a sample gridded response box that I made. And if I want to write the number 71.8 or 71 and 8 hundredths, I actually need to give each digit and the decimal point their own box. And I find the 7 bubble underneath where I wrote 7 and bubble that in. I find the 1 bubble underneath 1, the decimal point bubble underneath the decimal point, and the 8 bubble underneath 8. All those get bubbled in. And that's it. That's how I solve and write the answer for a question like this.